pretty dangerous. Uh, many people are dying from this, especially animals. And much of Australia's landscape has been destroyed. Um, in the article, he said that the wildfires have destroyed more than 25 million acres of land since December. It's not expected to be contained anytime soon. So that was, like I said, it was written in January. So I don't, I don't know how much like land has actually been destroyed so far, but it's, it's gone pretty bad. And like I said, the winds are making it spread much faster. Uh, the fires were also so bad that there's been like lightning and like thunder inside the actual fires itself. And a lot of people, a lot of the Australian citizens are pretty like outraged with the prime minister because he hasn't really done much and put like many policies in place to kind of like prevent the situation from getting worse. But the problem is so bad right now that there's really not much you can do. And I know a lot of like firefighters are volunteering from the U.S. and going over to Australia to kind of like help fight the problem. But he was interviewing Australians and they said they don't really care like what measures they're taking. They don't really care like how much it costs. They just want the problem to get better. So I'm moving now to like the policies that are put in place to uh, kind of help the situation get better. And one of them is the land use change in the land use or the land use land use change in the Forestry Act. And in that article I was talking about earlier, Eckhart wrote that the sector includes storing and emitting carbon dioxide from forest, arable land, grasslands, and wetlands. So in other words, it um it has an impact on like the global carbon cycle and it can remove or add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, but more importantly, right, like, remove it from the atmosphere, which would then in a sense just cause the temperature to decrease. Um, and the most important one is the Paris Agreement, which you guys probably heard about. Um, this is pretty much just a, an agreement where a bunch of countries are involved with it, and they help countries financially, and they help them like put policies in place that would help global warming kind of decrease. And the main goal is kind of just to try to get global warming below 1.8 degrees in the atmosphere. And in the next decade, they also want uh, zero emissions. So all in all, the current climate change problem is a pretty serious topic, and we all need to help prevent the situation from getting worse. Uh, we don't have all the time in the world to save the planet, so we need to take every action necessary to make a change. That's it.